I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the winged scourge that pecks at your nightmares. And this is Darkwing Duck for NES. Made by Capcom. Pressing start now. Just as a reminder, um, I'm not going to be doing a ton of commentary with this. This is more just about playing the game with these playthroughs. So we're going to start with the liquidator stage. The liquidator. It's a joke on the Terminator. And launch pads taking us to our destination. I am Darkwing Duck. Here we go. So you'll notice very quickly that this game is very much like another Capcom game, Mega Man. The way you drop down screens like that, there's just a ton of things that will remind you of Mega Man, you'll say. And that is life. So, a lot of people wanted me to play this game, you know, since I've been doing these playthroughs. This is uh, one that's been very uh, requested. And um, I've been playing hard games like, you know, Dragon's Lair and Contra 3 and stuff like that, and I think that this game has a reputation for being a tough game, and I think I might know the reason for that. I think people compare this game to DuckTales, and when you play DuckTales, and then you play this game, yeah, this game seems very difficult in comparison to DuckTales, because DuckTales is, a, is an easy game. So comparing it to that, yeah, this game is very difficult if you compare it to DuckTales. But as far as NES games go, eh. Not, not that bad, I don't think. Some stages are, are pretty difficult though. Like, you know, the first time I did this when I was a kid, I definitely had a little bit of a tough time with it. One thing that can be a little difficult is the jumping down mechanics. It's not like Contra where it's really good. Jumping down is a little bit wonky, basically. But uh, alright, we're coming up to the boss fight. This is the Terminator. It is the Terminator. Prepare to be terminated. I thought that was funny as a kid, that this guy is basically like a T-1000. There he is. The liquidator is liquidated. Job well done. Darkwing's riding on his rat catcher, which is a toy that I used to have as a kid. I really, really liked the Darkwing Duck toy line. Alright, so next we're gonna go to uh, Quacker Jack stage. Yeah, but the Darkwing Duck toys, they were awesome. <clears throat> That's the electricity I just got. See? Kind of like Bionic Commando a little bit with all the sort of jumping that you do in this. Without the bionic arm. Oh, 
Full health. Come on. Bats. Yeah, but I had a, I had a lot of the Darkwing Duck toys. I had the, the plane, whatever the name of the plane is. I had the Rat Catcher. Um, all kinds of enemies. I don't know if I had Quacker Jack, which is the boss of this stage, but I had uh, Megavolt, and I don't know if they ever made a figure of Nega Duck. Did they? Hmm. Darkwing, Darkwing Duck. But yeah, these guys right here are one of the things that remind me so much of Mega Man. I mean, they're definitely just from Mega Man. Full, full health. And alright, so we're gonna fight Quacker Jack now. With Quacker Jack, I'm gonna turn on my other weapon here. I prefer to fight Quacker Jack with this weapon because otherwise he jumps all over the screen and it's basically it's much harder because like I was saying the jumping down controls I don't think are very good they're like you know like Contra you know in Contra when you can like jump down and it's really it works well this game I find it to be just a little weird maybe that's just me but yeah so I use that uh, weapon and it kills Quacker Jack really easily All right, so now we're gonna go to Wolf Duck, which is a character. You know what? I don't really, really remember him too much from the show, um, but you know, I honestly haven't watched the show probably since the Disney Afternoon. Uh, that's not entirely true. I've seen a few episodes here and there, but anyway, this is a Wolf Duck stage. So let's make Lon Chaney Jr. proud. I'm gonna get the arrow here because that's what you want for the boss fights. Other, other than Quacker Jack, you know? Let me kill these guys. Nice. Don't even know, need to go down there. You might have saw, uh, there's a lot of slowdown right here. Common problem with old NES games. You're like buying on a commando, huh? Swinging around in the sky. These guys are really, really weird to fight. I'm just gonna take this guy out. Fuck you, buddy. Ugh. life. That's what I was looking for. That's why I really stopped there to do that. Alright, Wolf Duck. Here we go. Alright, so I'm switching to the arrow. I just want to get in those hits. Switching off that. There we go, boom. And that is Wolf Duck, Lon Chaney Jr. So we did Liquidator, we did Cracker Jack, we did Wolf Duck, 
now it takes you to the next section of the game, which is three more levels. So, let's do this one. Mega Volt. Yes, I want to go there, launch pad. Don't crash the plane. Da -da -da -da. Mega Volt. I had that uh, toy as a kid, Mega Volt. It was a lighter, basically. I had a switch on the back and sparks would fly out of it. <laughs> it was probably really, really dangerous, actually. And that's not a pun. Let's get dangerous. Let's get dangerous. That could have been the commercial for it, though. Get dangerous with the Darkwing Duck Megavolt toy. It'll burn your house down. New from Blammo. Oh wait, that's Ren and Stimpy. What is this, Alvin and the Chipmunks running after me here? Look at all the spikes. Where's Ryan at? Whenever I'm playing a game with him, he always gets the level with the spikes. I don't know what that is, but it's true. It's an extra dark wing. Dark wing, dark wing, duck. Daring duck of mystery. Champion of right. Swoops out of the shadows, Darkwing owns the night. Gold. I'll take that. Boss time. Mega Volt. Let's get the arrow on there. Boom. That's my revenge for that toy almost burning my house down as a kid. Seriously, that thing, it would be like, ksh, 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 sparks flying out of it. <laughs> they didn't have safety standards back then. Alright, Moliarty. Professor Moliarty! Obviously a play off of, I am Darkwing Duck, obviously a play off of uh, Sherlock Holmes. Elementary, my dear Data, elementary. That's your Moniarty. We got moles, we got kangaroos, robot dogs, the entire animal kingdom. I you can't save that like an E-Tank, like Mega Man. Right? But I do really, um, love the music in this game. And Capcom games always had the best music. You know, Moon Level and DuckTales is regarded some of the best music on the NES. There we go. Briefcase of life. What else could you want? DuckTales had Gizmo Duck. Another superhero. Duck character. <laughs> so Capcom was, uh, that's what Disney was all about doing in the 90s. Superheroes. I guess they realized that superheroes maybe would sell better or something. 
probably why they made Darkwing Duck. They realized how popular superheroes were, and probably why they brought on Gizmo Duck. Disney trying to get into that market. But yeah, you know, Disney cartoons were never really renowned for being about superheroes or anything. They were, you know, they were more comedies or... Alright, here we go. This is going to be... Moliarty! Moliarty! Professor Moliarty. Switching to the arrow. And that's Moliarty. Professor Moliarty. Um, like I said, just get the arrows. I think the bosses are like five or six hits with the arrows, where otherwise it goes on a while, so that's definitely a big tip. Where should we go now? Something strange is going on in the woods. Something strange in the neighborhood. Yeah, but this is bush root. And Bushroot was always always reminded me of that character from Masters of the Universe. Um, it's like a fucking broccoli head. Uh, no, uh, what's his name? Broccoli head. That's his name, broccoli head, guys. Looks like broccoli. Um, Evil Seed is his name. Wonder how how many people have any fucking clue what I'm talking about. Does anybody remember Evil Seed at all? Obscure Masters of the Universe character. For sure. shooter thing is similar to Mega Man. That's what this game wants to be. Not a bad game to emulate though, right? See how they designed that bat to just like, ooh, walk behind the waterfall. There's your Zelda reference for the day. They had that bat perfectly placed so that I could like jump over them. It's like they knew all about enemy placement in these in these days. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna fight bush root. Boom. He's got a Mo Howard haircut, or a Jim Carrey haircut, in uh, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> that was a 90s thing too, is that what they were going for? I'll go Mo Howard. <laughs> Where should we go now, DW? Hmm, well there's only one option. Fucking launch pad, moron. 
Fucking asshole. <laughs> All right, this is the last level. Final level of the game. Oh. Where should we go now, DW? I don't know, um, maybe the only fucking place we can go? All right, here we go. Mega Man reject enemies, 101. Ugh. Fuck these guys. It's like something from Heath Heathcliff, these guys. I don't know what the hell they are. Like, these guys were not in the show, were they? I mean, really. This game is essentially Capcom putting a new skin on Mega Man. And I would say it's the first Mega Man, too, not one of the later ones, because the controls are a little clunky, kind of like the first Mega Man. And I really like the first Mega Man, so I'm not knocking, I'm not knocking the first Mega Man game, but the, you can't deny the controls are clunky in that game. I'm just used to, like, the way you jump down in Contra, it's just, I don't know, better in that game. The way it works. The way it handles. Dippy Dog. Or, uh, Droopy. Oh my god. There's health right there, so. So we're good. See you later, Terminator. There we go. And I'm not getting those things down there because I want to keep the um the arrow thing that I have. End of the game. All right, so this is Steelbeak, final boss. Get over here and just start shooting these eggshell things out of the way. Everything's got to be fucking eggs and chickens, right? There you go. That's that. Now if I can get over here, got that. Turn on the arrows. Get in a couple shots. Come back to the regular. Boom. Not much of an end boss, I know. Um, but that is uh, Darkwing Duck on NES. You know, I'll say, I, I, I think I said this earlier, but basically people compare this game to DuckTales, and DuckTales is an easy game, and I think that that's why it gives the impression that this game is hard. Um, I think, uh, I don't think it's that bad. It's not definitely not an easy game, but it's 
it's harder than DuckTales, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But uh, it's a good game, it's got good music, you know, it's a, it's a Capcom classic, really. And I like that it's got a little bit of a challenge to it. Duckwing owns the night. Good stuff, uh, check it out.